Imagine, you just had delivery food for dinner and you're rinsing off the plastic containers before you put them in the recycling bin. You notice at the bottom of each container the words, quote mode, microwave safe, end quote mode. You start to wonder what these words actually mean. With the recent attention surrounding plastic additives like BPA and phthalates, it's a wonder that anyone still puts plastic in the microwave at all. It's probably obvious that the term microwave safe doesn't refer to your safety, but rather the safety of the dish that you're putting into the microwave. Have you ever thought about where this term even comes from though? And given the very real possibility of ill effects from exposure to additives in plastic, is this term a little misleading? Shortly after the introduction of the consumer grade microwave in the late 60s, the term microwave safe referred to ceramic and glassware that could be used in the microwave without melting or catching on fire. But these days, you can find it on most plastic food containers as well, including one-time use delivery containers. In some places, you can even find an assortment of foods that you microwave directly in the plastic packages that they come in. Technically, microwave safe dishes also include oven cooking bags, baskets made of straw and wood, as long as they don't contain any metal, wax paper, parchment paper, vented plastic bags, and paper products that are specifically approved for microwave cooking. Some of these items might seem a bit too optimistic considering the potential for additives to leach into your food as it's being heated. Especially vented plastic bags. Does it ever seem like a good idea to microwave a plastic bag? The safest plastics to put into the microwave are considered to be PET and polypropylene. These two plastics are more stable at higher temperatures, so there's technically less chance of the plastic deforming or leaching chemical additives into your food. But again, safest doesn't refer to your health or your kid's health. It refers to the likelihood the dish will melt into a puddle along with your leftover pasta from last night. But what about your health? Chemical additives in plastics such as BPA and phthalates have been shown to negatively impact the endocrine system in our body. In other words, these additives function similarly to our own hormones like testosterone and estrogen and cause problems with how our bodies produce and regulate these hormones. These additives are also associated with certain types of cancers, obesity, and reproductive disorders like infertility. Some argue that the effects of these chemicals are small and animal testing uses higher doses than we would normally be exposed to in everyday life. However, others like epidemiologist Dr. Shana Swan argue that even small amounts have been contributing to infertility rates and negative health effects. There seems to be a lot of confusion around the word safe in terms of contaminants in our environments or food. Regulatory bodies often seem like they're more concerned with determining what level of these chemicals causes acute illness rather than examining the potential long-term chronic health effects from exposure to these chemicals or a gradual buildup of these chemicals in our bodies. With that said, constantly seeing the term microwave safe on plastic containers might make us think that microwaving plastics is safer than it actually is. Just because the container doesn't melt or deform, does that mean that we're safe from additives leaching into the food that we're going to eat? Moreover, just because an additive or ingredient doesn't cause immediate, acutely toxic symptoms, does that mean they're safe in the long term? Do you think we should keep microwaving our food in plastic containers, or do you think it's not worth the risk? For us, we're sticking with glass and ceramics.